Hello, uh, welcome to a video as we discuss the idea of a paperless um, bookkeeping system. And the ProLedger's software can uh, accommodate that quite nicely. And in this video, we're going to show you how that can be done. And there's really two tools at your, your disposal here. Uh, the one is the uh, software program. It can certainly help in that regard. And there's also the free apps, which also can um, assist. So let's take a look at the software first and how that can be set up to uh, go paperless. In front of you is the software program and I've opened up a sample file and let's take a look at one of the entries on how uh, we can do this paperless. Uh, the top entry for example, we're going to open that up and when you make an entry or even if you want to edit the entry, you're going to notice there's a, there's a button here called Receipt Manager and when you click on that, it opens a screen where you're, where you're able to browse for any PDF file on your computer or you can browse an image if you have a JPEG or some other image you can click on that to, it, to, to attach a receipt in that fashion or if you don't have any digital image of the receipt and you want to use a webcam or uh, a camera on your monitor you can scan it this way. Now having said that you know certainly uh, if you have any volume of receipts to do it's great to have a dedicated scanner so you can buy um, at Staples and different stores uh, scanners that re that will uh, scan receipts very nicely and efficiently and then later you just simply attach them to the file and that's probably the most efficient way so let's go to a browse PDF for example to show you how you can attach a receipt to the entry so here you go it opens up a window you can you can navigate to where your scanned receipts are and in this case we'll choose this one uh, that's the receipt we want for this transaction so we'll choose it and you click OK and then it goes into this bar here and you can rename it at this point if you would like but if you like the name just choose submit and there you have it and you can delete it or you can view it at any time and you can attach as many um, documents and receipts to a single transaction as you would like and they would all show up here on a nice list once you've done that go back to the main screen and choose save changes and you'll notice here though that there's a paper clip here so it shows that there is an attached receipt to this entry even in the main screen you're going to see a little paper clip here indicating that there is a uh, receipt. So at any point in time you can click on that little paper clip and you can just simply choose to view the document uh, as you would like. So that is how you can go paperless. Now the nice thing about this is when you use it you're going to notice on your computer that the program will automatically set up a folder uh, with the same name as your bookkeeping file name. So if you look at the program, you can see what file name I have here. It's called BizTTest. And when I go into my computer, I can see the file name BizTTest. But the folder is created for you. And then when you click on it, you can see it's archiving the receipts in that folder. So this is automatic. So all your receipts that you attach to bookkeeping entries are automatically going to be copied in to this uh, this folder of images and uh, the same thing works with the app if you go to the our free apps and take a picture of a receipt it'll go into the same folder as well so uh, and uh, the other thing to note when I'm using the software program I went and selected that PDF but it's going to leave that PDF where it was so you always have that intact and it's just going to copy it and put it into this folder here for the bookkeeping so anyway it's uh this is how the system is handled uh, handling these uh, documents and uh, it's a wonderful way to to go paperless now i mentioned the idea of using our apps to go paperless and and, and that's another tool so just uh, for a second let's go back to the website and you can see at the bottom of every product page there's a place for the apps where you can you can download them and there's also videos on how you can set them up and these are free and there's no hosting fee or anything because you're actually going to be um, you know, using your own Dropbox, OneDrive or Google Drive uh, account uh, to host the bookkeeping file and have access so it's it's going to be a free thing and there's a video thing in there on how to use it so when you click on it you'll see okay here's the app and you can search for it in the app store under Pro Ledgers and uh, for iOS it's in the iOS store as Pro Ledger bookkeeping app so just go ahead and you can download that and give it a try so let's take a look at how this can work with the app okay so here we have the app and it's open and I've uh, already opened the file and I'm going to be looking at these uh, transactions here let me just straighten that out a little bit here um, okay there we go okay so on the app 
you're going to see the same bookkeeping entry right here um, and you can open it and there's the entry and it has the same receipt manager button and uh, here you can see actually the uh, file that we've attached and of course you can view it um, at any time on the phone you can see your uh, image that way so it's it, it works really well on the on the app to view images as well as in the desktop software now going back here to the file list name let's say you want to attach a receipt using the app or you make an entry on the app and you want to attach a receipt you can easily do that you just hit that green button at the bottom and you have an option here to either take a brand new photo so if you're on the fly and you're making a bookkeeping entry and you have a receipt that it's really a convenient way for you to digitize your uh, your receipt right on the spot so you just go to uh, take photo and it'll open up your camera and let's say this is our receipt for uh, for test purposes and they can just snap a picture and then you can say do you want to use that or retry so we'll say okay and uh, you can upload this and it'll attach itself to the bookkeeping entry and you're done and you can of course you can view it at any time you like and uh, it'll also show up on your desktop software program since the, if you use the apps right you're going to be syncing between the desktop and the apps through your google drive one driver dropbox account so anyway that's all there's really to it so you've just attached a second receipt or a receipt to this bookkeeping entry now i'm going to just wrap up with an extra bonus idea this this is exactly how you can use the app and the software which is fine now another thing that's really handy is that um, for some of you who want to ramp this up to the next level if you if you want to have a an archive of uh, receipts on your computer and you want to make them fully searchable without having to even go into the software program because you can view them here of course but let's say you know you want to just be able to search out a receipt quickly and you're not sure what month it's in you're not sure even maybe what year it's in but you know a few keywords or you might know an amount and uh, you're looking for it what i would recommend in that case is to use a really great program called evernote and probably most of you have heard of it but i'm just going to show you just for a minute how this can be used so easily so here's, for example, the Evernote software. Um, and, uh, you know, I've got mine all archived in years and months, and I have receipts. Now, basically what I ended up doing each year is I created a folder in Evernote for documents, business receipts, and personal receipts. And um, then if you want to search for a receipt, and let's say, oh, I think it was a business receipt for 2018. Um, and, um, you know, I'm going to search for it by dollar value let's say it's $79.10 well what it's going to do it, it, Evernote actually takes all your PDFs and even your JPEGs and any kind of image and and just crawls through them and reads them all and makes the receipts and images completely searchable by any search term which is a wonderful thing and then you can go down and say yeah this is $79.10 it showed up right there and it found the receipt and so it, it's it's very very handy and let's say for example you do a lot of business at the co-op just type in the word co-op and it's going to go through all your documents and find all the co-op uh, documents on there so you can search by any word that you can find on any receipt even if it's handwritten so anyway uh, the other thing about this is uh, you can go into the tools menu and you can choose this to happen automatically so let's say you're you're scanning your receipts into a particular folder on your computer drive well what you can do is have Evernote read that folder and import all those documents from that folder on your computer into the Evernote system it'll just happen automatically and then you have a fully searchable archive of digital receipts and Evernote comes with uh, free apps as well uh, for your phone or tablet and anyway just a little bonus tip there that's what I do with all my stuff and uh, you might just appreciate uh, knowing about that so anyway happy bookkeeping and uh, especially if it's paperless uh, it'll certainly um, put you in a great spot to uh, feel in full control of your documents and not have to worry about faded receipts and where did you leave things so anyway that's all there's really to it I hope you found that helpful